Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2007 General Manager Mode. My name is Brendan Plays. We are coming off the SummerSlam pay-per-view, which was our last episode. Go and check it out if you haven't already. This is what went down. So it was a five-star rated show in the end. It was a pretty good night for us indeed. Our matchups, we had a few. It was a steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship. Booker T, Randy Orton, and JBL. And it was JBL who did win the championship in the end. We also had Rob Van Dam versus Eddie Guerrero in a hardcore match. And a main event for the ages, a Hell in a Cell Fatal 4-Way, Batista winning the WWE Championship from John Cena and The Undertaker and Kurt Angle also involved in the match as well. We also had a couple matchups on Heat as well. We had Tori Wilson knock off Trish Stratus and we also had Trish Stratus defeat nobody because nobody, nobody turned up from SmackDown to Versa. But nonetheless, she got a victory and that was good. So... In the end, a pretty good uh, pay-per-view, and we actually went ahead in the ratings. We actually won the overall show. So, we are now on 5.6 million. SmackDown is back to 4. I'll say 4.4, but uh, that's fantastic. There was a period of time, if you've been following for the last probably few, four, five, six weeks, where we were just slowly, slowly declining. Can you see that that line is just going closer and closer. Eventually, it was almost broken even. We almost lost the lead. We just held onto it, and now we have a steady lead again. Hopefully, we can build on that. That's the plan right now. That's the goal, and let's see if we can do that here tonight. So we are going to make a change to the roster now. I've been umming and ahhing on who I want to bring in. So here's who we can bring in from SmackDown. Obviously, Rey Mysterio is out of our reach. Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Edge, two, three guys that I really want to bring in. And these guys, Foley, Umaga, Khalid, Benoit, Ric Flair, I'm not really all that interested in bringing them in, which is my dilemma right now, because you can see on our roster we have Batista at 95, Cena 92, Angle 90, Undertaker at 88, Guerrero 87, Van Dam at 83. So they're really the only guys you could probably trade out at this stage. Now, I don't really want to lose Batista, he's the champion, John Cena. Probably don't want to lose him either. In 92 popularity, which leaves kind of Angle, Undertaker, Guerrero, or Van Dam. Now, I want Guerrero and Chavo to be in a tag team. So, that leaves Guerrero out. So, it's Van Dam, Taker, or Angle. So, who can we get with the highest popularity of 90? Even then, we still can't get Shawn Michaels from that. Very unlikely. So, really, I think our only option might be to trade the Undertaker out and bring in Edge. Now, if we bring in Edge, that also opens up a new tag team for us, Randy Orton and Edge. So that will boost up our tag team division and lead us to four tag teams, which is much better position than we were in before. Undertaker's already been the champion before. We can probably phase him out without much harm done. So I think that might be the right decision to go with. So Undertaker out, in comes Edge, and for the time being, we can have Edge feud with Batista, for the championship if we desire, or we could also change it to perhaps uh, John Cena, Batista, and Kurt Angle, and Edge feuding. We'll see what we want to do. But uh, I think we're going to go for it. Let's see if they accept. Of course, they still could decline. So let's see. The trade has been accepted. So Edge is officially on our roster. We had to trade The Undertaker. We had four gone. One little popularity point, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. So that's great news. Somebody different. We had to make a trade. It's just time to spice it up. Bring in somebody different. Somebody new. And that's great. So Edge is now officially on. So right now, here's our rivalry. So we currently we have Cena and Angle feuding together. But I guess Cena just losing the title probably make more sense for him to have a rematch clause. So we might go with that. So we'll see, is Edge a dirty or a clean? He is dirty, Batista is clean. So that works out just fine. Um, but uh, we might change that to Angle and Edge, which means they're both dirty, which means they need a turn. And the same thing with Batista and John Cena. They're both clean, so they would both need a turn as well, which is the dilemma that we're currently facing. We only have five weeks until Unforgiven. Is it worth you know, taken away one week from the rivalry, I don't know. So, we might just go with Edge and Batista, and we'll stick with Cena and Kurt Angle. I mean, we could perhaps change that, uh, Batista and Kurt Angle, Edge and Cena. Perhaps we'll do that later on, but we'll do that 
we'll go with what we were going to do and we'll, we'll stay with that. So we need to type back in John Cena and uh, Kurt Angle again, which is fine. And what can we put on for that? Uh, we might be able to get better at the times. I don't think so. I don't know. But uh, we'll try John Cena and Kurt Angle. Yes, we can. So that's good. So that's our two of our rivalries. We also have JBL and Matt Hardy. Now, there's a lot of a popularity difference between the two. Matt Hardy, I think, is a 59 popularity. It might be 60, 61, actually. JBL has, has actually gone up to 80. But we've already had Rob Van Dam versus uh, JBL a number of times. We're going to try and spice it up and deliver something a little bit different. So Matt Hardy, we just traded him, traded him in. Let's do something with him. Let's have him go for that IC Championship. Booker T and Randy Orton, they're going to continue on their feud. They've still got five weeks to go, so we might as well keep that going. That will give us something to kind of work with on the Raw shows. Um, Tori and Trish are just going to start their rivalry. We're actually going to have a women's championship match. I don't know if it's this week or next week, because Melina wants a title match, or she's out. So we need to deliver a title match ASAP. So we'll see what we can do with that. And uh, we also have Chavo and Eddie versus Big Show and Kane for the tag team titles. Now we finally have somebody different going for those titles, so I'm looking forward to seeing that one, seeing how that one goes down. So that should be good, and that should also boost up our tag team division just a little bit. Here's the popularity situation. As you can see, JBL at 80, Tori Wilson at 77, uh, Leader up at 74, Chavo at 69, and obviously Eddie is at 87, so that should do us well. But Kane and Big Show, not so great. Kane's on 69, and uh, the Big Show only on 62. We need to improve that, so Matt Hardy was at 59. As stated, so we need to obviously improve that, and that's going to be difficult to do, but that's something we need to work on in the next few weeks. But let's get straight into the show, shall we? So, we have a fair bit of money this week, so we can probably get away with doing perhaps an interview. And uh, let's have a quick look at Melina. I think she does want a title match this week, she's currently upset. Um, I don't know if she's ready to leave or not. Have an email. Uh, yeah, we probably should give her a title match this week. So we'll give her a title match, and we'll play that this week. Um, so that will mean we'll probably we'll do an interview on Trish Stratus, try and bump her up a little bit, and um, we can also hype up. Can we do? We can't do a hype of the new superstar. I don't know why we can't do that. That's ridiculous. I don't know why that's the case. Uh, we should be able to do that, but uh, for some reason it's not letting us. And we also, I guess we might uh, try and bump that up again. And we'll give Matt Hardy a bit of a boost as well with an interview. So we'll see how we go. So we'll go with our main event to kick us off. And we'll just do a straight up match between Batista and Edge. And we'll do a straight up match as well between John Cena and Kurt Angle. One on one. So that should give us two solid rated matchups. And again, just another straight-up match between JBL and Matt Hardy. Some of our new rivalries will just get it done straight off the bat. And uh, we'll do our tag team matchup as well. Um, we might uh, we might give somebody a manager just to kind of fill in the blanks here. So Big, Big Show and uh, Kane, we might give him the manager of perhaps a, a Mickey James just to kind of perhaps boost her up a little bit or probably make it worse, I don't know. We'll see how the Guerreros go in their first encounter as a tag team. That should be interesting as well. And um, we can also, we need to have our women's championship matchup. So we're gonna make it a triple threat match and obviously we have Tori in there as well. So Melina, Trish, and Tori. So that should do us pretty good. Obviously Tori has the popularity right now. But uh, Trish has the championship. And that leaves us with one match. And that's our option. So Booker T, Orton, Van Dam, and Eminem. So we might just do a uh, tag team match up there as well. So we'll have Randy Orton and Booker T versus each other. Um, I think we'll put Van Dam on that side. And uh, Randy Orton over here. And he could have Nitro with him. Maybe we'll throw a manager in there as well. A manager for both. Actually, no, sorry. Well, that's the one we wanted. Manager for both teams, and uh, we'll give them 
Mercury and I believe Lita is our other spare. So that will get everyone on the show. All is good. Everyone's done. So we'll go ahead and play our women's championship matchup. It'll be a triple threat match. And uh, we'll be playing this one. We'll play as our champion, Trish Stratus. Because this is the matchup that doesn't... We don't really want a title change just quite yet. We're just trying to do this to get Melina happy. But uh, let's go ahead and check out this match. Alrighty, here comes one of our challenges here tonight. It is Melina who is looking for a championship opportunity here tonight. She gets one finally. And hopefully this should make her pretty happy as uh, she's trying to win her first women's championship. Cha her first women's, women's championship, I should say, since being here on Raw in our GM mode series. And we'll see how she fares here tonight. She's got some tough competition. But uh, Melina's been pretty good lately, so we'll see how she fares. And here comes our champion, it is Trish Stratus. And uh, she got away with having to defend her championship at the recent SummerSlam pay-per-view, but tonight she is not as lucky. She has to put the title on the line. And uh, Tori Wilson has been one diva who's trying to get that championship off Trish, but she also has to deal with Melina here tonight. So we'll see how she goes in this triple threat match. It's gonna be very, very difficult indeed. And finally, the other participant in this match, the third participant, it is Tori Wilson, who is growing and growing in popularity every time we see her. And uh, she is getting better and better in the ring every single week. She's really becoming a top tier contender, obviously beating Trish Stratus at uh, SummerSlam just before the show on Sunday Night Heat. That has given her a lot of confidence, and you would probably have to say she might be the favorite coming into this match. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this one is underway. Trish, Melina, and Tori. And straight away, Trish Stratus is coming after Melina and continues. This time with a headlock of plight. Tori Wilson will break up the hole, though, before anything can happen. So we had a pretty good SummerSlam show. I've obviously new rivalries now heading in towards our next pay-per-view, Unforgiven. So hopefully we can keep our momentum. We've got the big ratings back. We've kind of got the crowd back. And uh, we have a huge gain and I guess right now we're just in that rebuilding mode. That's going to be the difficult thing. We don't have many rivalries. Just the one rivalry that has been continuing on. And uh, that's obviously going to make things very difficult going forward to try and get the best ratings as we can. Really right now I think we just have to make sure that we can keep growing popularity of our, of our lower tier superstars. We have so many guys in that 60 bracket or even lower. Which is such a huge problem for us. Here comes Trish Stratus with a chick kick. But Melina's right there to make sure that she can't pick up the win. So that's our problem right now. We just have to try and elevate a few of those. Melina is one of them. Trish Stratus was near that 80 mark, but she's dipped down into the 60s herself. So she's also um, experienced that issue. So she's one we really have to sort out. Obviously, she is our women's champion as well, which makes it even more important that we try and get her a few wins and try and grow her popularity. But uh, Tori Wilson obviously has been... The, the spearhead of the women's division as of late, doing our best. So she's really on fire right now. I guess many would say she probably deserves that championship. But uh, she needs to uh, keep on winning. And I guess Trish Stratus might be just the one woman who may be able to stop her from doing that. Melina sent to the outside, though. But uh, Tori Wilson now turns her attention to Trish Stratus with not much success there. Uh oh a counter there by Tori. Now Trish coming back after again and drags her down. Melina back in the ring now. But uh, Trish continuing the assault on Tori. And Tori going downstairs on Melina. And now, here's trouble. A uh, leg sweep there by Trish Stratus on Tori Wilson. Melina stomping away on, on Tori. And a big chop right to the chest of Melina. And Trish is pretty pleased about that, our women's champion. Both women are down. A chance here for Trish to capitalize. Decided to kind of gloat a little bit instead and that may just cost her I'm not sure but uh, she needs to make sure that uh, she keeps the the offense coming here oh went for the double team and instead a double clothesline there by Molina taking down Trish and Tori so Molina requested this match she begged for it basically and uh, she might be looking pretty good here oh another double team maneuver wait a minute the shoulders are down and that almost worked out pretty nicely for Trish, but not so good for Melina. Luckily for the rope break, uh, that stopped any chance of her 
Losing this match, and now a check kick there to Molina. She's down. But uh, Trish has to take out Tori Wilson to try and pick up the win here. Another chop now to Tori. Trish is looking good. Tori's in a bit of trouble. And now a submission hold applied. The half crab. Yes, now just working down on that lower leg. Trish Stratus just trying to regain her composure a little bit here. She's been dominating this match so far. Can Tori Molina stay in it? I'm not sure. Now Trish has a hold of Tori and just takes her down. Wow. Showing her strength as well. And another big kick there to Molina. Now Trish is trying to put Molina away. Here we go. Cover now. Molina in trouble. Gets the shoulder up at one though. Comfortably getting out of the equation. And now Tori's in some trouble. She's going to be swept off her feet again this time by Trish Stratus one more time. And Trish is just continuing the onslaught here. Melina might be looking for a submission of her own. And she is. Here we go. Melina trying to put Tori Wilson away, working down on the legs. And Trish Stratus will break that up, though. But Melina countering what another kick there by Trish. And now again, here we go. Another chick kick this time again to Melina. And Tori Wilson watching on. And now she's coming after Trish. Trish had an opportunity to put Melina away there. Melina back up to her feet though. And again, she's going to look for it one more time. She connects this time. Again, a third chick kick. And Tori Wilson is looking to steal it away from Trish Stratus, but she can't do it. Unfortunately for Tori. And head first down goes Melina now. So Tori again trying to steal this match it's from Trish Stratus. And Trish is not happy about that at all. Trish now turning atten attention to Tori. But Tori is taken down. Oh, both women just rolling around the ring now. Bit of a cat fight going on. That's what you want to see. And Trish is just watching on. And oh, wait a second, Melina. Oh, she connected with Tori instead. And now Trish is slapping the hell out of Melina. And now a clothesline. Trish coming after Tori. Tried to kick Tori off her feet. And now Trish with some slaps again. This time to Tori. Tori Wilson trying to win this match. Coming after Melina. And now the tempted pinfall. But she'll keep this match alive. Will Trish Stratus. She just has to hit one big move, I think, here on Tori Wilson. Get her out of the picture. She does. She connects. But now Melina back to her feet. And Melina. Now she's slapping away on Tori Wilson. Not going to allow her to try and win this match. But uh, Trish can get Melina out of the picture. She's going for the cover. Melina should probably should have went for Tori instead. But she gets it regardless. Melina's taking a punishment. And Trish Stratus has done it. A convincing victory, but Tori Wilson just stayed in the hunt constantly, would not go away. But in the end, Melina had to had to take the pinfall for Trish Stratus to pick up the win. And a good victory for Trish. A couple chick kicks to Melina that were very effective. Melina just couldn't take any more punishment from our women's champion. Trish Stratus with the victory here tonight on Monday Night Raw, defending her women's championship. What a victory! For Trish. Alrighty, so let's go check out the results of our other matchups here on Raw. So first up, Big Show and Kane picked up the victory over the Guerrero. So not a great start for them in their tag team run. Orton and Nitro picked up the win over Booker T and Rob Van Dam. JBL knocked off Matt Hardy one on one. Kurt Angle defeated John Cena as well. And Edge wins on his debut here on Raw. So that's a big victory there. Some big victories overall. Some surprising wins, no doubt. But uh, let's go check out the results. The ratings are in. And Raw wins again with a 30,000 view again. That's fantastic. We are continuing the pressure on SmackDown. Another big, big victory for us. We really needed that one. So here it was, a three-star rated show, two and a half star for our opening contest. 
two and a half again for our other tag match. Our title match was three star. JBL and Matt Hardy was three star and three and a half for our two big main events. So that's good. That's a good start. That's a very good start. Good signs for us. You cannot complain with that. Pretty happy with that one. So here is the re the situation right now. Cena wants a victory. He's been losing a little bit. Uh, who else we got? Rob Van Dam wants a title shot. Uh, we also can see that uh, Kane has bumped up to 71. That's very good news, as has Trish Stratus. So that's fantastic. We really needed those two to bump up. And they have, unfortunately, Guerrero's bumped down. Big Show's gone up as well. And uh, Nitro's moved up. He wants a title shot. I don't know about that one. I mean, he's, yes, he's won three in a row. But does he really deserve a title shot? I don't know. But uh, Matt Hardy, oh, he's gone down by three. That is really, really bad. So we, obviously, we did the interview on, on him. He needed to pick up the victory to get the big bonus. Unfortunately, he lost, which means he gets a bit of a loss bonus. So not really a, a bonus, but uh, he's lost a fair few points. So that's not good, but overall, can't complain in the end. So our rivalries are now in full swing. Pretty happy with that. So that's fantastic news. And let's go quick look at the fan support. And again, that's the result. So we are just building a big lead here on SmackDown. Really, really good. Really happy with that. And the Power 25, quick look. It is Batista at number two. Angle at three. Uh, Cena at seven. And oh, Edge and Lita together. So perhaps we could do the, the, the combination of Edge and Lita. I did forget about that. Perhaps we could start to do that. And that will also help out Lita as well. And uh, yeah, so that's what we have right now. Plenty of our superstars in that top 25 which is fantastic and as we are a few weeks away from the unforgiven pay-per-view still four more weeks to go but so far so good in the build-up towards it ladies and gentlemen thank you again for joining us for another episode of WWE smackdown versus raw 2007 general manager mode my name is brennan plays i hope you guys enjoyed the video today if you did make sure you leave a like on the video it'd be great if we can hit three likes i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you all next episode